What is up besides the ceiling, everyone? I am Musical Artist 25, and welcome back to another MA25 Reacts. Woohoo! Alright, so today we are going to be reacting to Glitch Tale Season 2, Episode 2, Dust by Camilla Cuevas. Now, I know it's been a while since I last reacted to, um, Glitch Tale. I mean, it, I mean, it hasn't been that long, but... You know, wh whatever. Stupid commentary window. This is not sizing as well as I would like it to. Hang on, guys. Now that's too small. <clears throat> okay, sorry about that. Now, if you have not watched the original video, I suggest that you do that before you watch this video, or don't, whatever, I'm not going to control you, but, you know, let's just make sure that the volume is turned down enough so you can hear me, but up enough so you can hear the sound. Okay, let's just get right into this. Now, last time, if you don't remember, um, a Asriel, no, Asgore admitted to killing the, um, the, the human children, um, specifically the director of the AMD's daughter, and she wanted revenge on the monsters for that. Yes, yes, we all know that it was Asriel and Chara that really broke the barrier. But he wouldn't put Asriel at risk by telling the truth about that. But he was honest about what he did with the children. Oh, uh, Undyne must be so, so tormented right now that she's a police officer. She became a police officer when she got to the surface. And now she has to see her king behind bars. It's such a freaking, I don't know, a flower. Oh, it's so cute. I, I love the little friendship that's progressing between these two. Dr. Gaster? Dr. Gaster? <laughs> nice save, dude. But unfortunately, you have a mess to clean up. Come back here! <gasps> Kumu! Oh, hey, Betty. I thought you were gonna leave. Actually, Frisk, her mom came last night and said if it was okay for her to stay f for a couple of nights, or days. They're moving somewhere else, apparently. Huh. Betty's mom looks nothing like her, so she'll stay here until the m things of her room are moved, right? Correct. I love her little uh, advanced vocabulary where she's just like, correct, <laughs> instead of, that's right. I've been reading the whole night and not even a clue. I see. However, there is an interesting story about a pair of wizards that created the barrier. I know in the game it said that seven wizards created the barrier, but in this one there was only two, because a pair means two. So I think it's an interesting concept. Be careful whenever you go out, specifically as if one of us is out with you. Huh? What do you mean? I've always noticed the AMD cameras around the city, but they didn't move much. Hmm. However, lately they've been acting... they've been more active than ever. As if they're looking for something. Love the lighting effect here. I'm not telling you to not go out, of course. I know you have to attend Metaton's first live report today. <gasps> Ooh, Metaton! Man, I'm acting so much like my cousin. He would get really angry if you don't go. Yeah, I've seen fan comics where Metaton calls Frisk his little star. Yeah, talking about that. May I go with you? <laughs> yeah, it's just like, sure, whatever. <laughs> Who's coming? You misspelled coming. Well, since you already met Sans and Azrael, <gasps> the great detective Papyrus. You'll get to know someone that is very great. <laughs> the face, though. 
<laughs> the name tag. Wowie, I like your hair. We all love her hair. Aw, so cute. Everyone is so cute in these animations. There he is! Hey, look, it's Metaton! Yeah! May I say hi to him? Sure, I'll stay here. I love how her eyes are stars. Where do we sit? I didn't bought any chairs. <gasps> Shut up! <clears throat> Sans don't. I only know what that means because I have a horticulture class in, in school. So, so horticulture botany it's called. So that's the only reason why I get that pun. What the? How the hell did you get up there? What the frick? Hang in there, I'll get you down. I love that, I know that in this um, episode that um, Metaton is voiced by Ultima Almighty. Okay, that nullifies all magical abilities from a monster. It may crack the soul of the user. What the freak? Why does it make her bleed? Can someone please answer that for me? I know Camilla's probably not going to see this because I'm not the type of YouTuber she'd want to watch, but, like, what the frick? Why does it make her finger bleed? Well, I was on my way to the AMD, and... Hmm. Yeah, anyway, I love that Ultima Almighty was part of this video. I mean, I know that Ultima's channel is down, but, you know... I really love how Metaton looks in this. He looks very, um... I'm not gonna say fabulous, but I mean, of course he looks fabulous, but you know, I, I just really love how he looks. Now press the green button to your right. Oh my gosh, I, I, there is, there is freaking, what the fuck. That is kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Wait, where's Papyrus? Uh oh. What the freak? Got it. I love that. Whoa. Hello. I love that. I love how powerful Sans is. There's a reason why Sans is my second favorite character. Unfortunately, this isn't strong enough to kill him, but it'll stop him. I'm, I find it interesting that it... It... It doesn't kill him. Because Sans only has one HP. He's very frail at... Oh, gosh. Ugh, Misty, don't scratch at my door. Oh, no. Papyrus, are you okay? Sir. Prince Dreamer, please move aside. He's under arrest. <gasps> what? No, 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 no. You are not fucking serious right now. But No, don't reset. Hey, kid. Yeah, don't. Papyrus is under arrest. You are not fucking serious right now. I love how Betty's just, like, standing there. Um, I'll hear everyone else's ideas first. Good job. Oh, God, hang on. My dogs are being total idiots. Okay, sorry about that. My dogs were being total idiots. Papyrus said he was at the crane because he saw a little girl asking for help. After doing what she said, he felt dizzy and passed out. Now, Sans got attacked by something, and it nullified all his powers. How are you feeling, by the way? It's coming back slowly. By tomorrow, I should be fine. Well, that's good. I'm glad. Aw, I love how they're progressing. That Sans and Azriel are are getting to be really, really good friends. I know Papyrus would never... Sorry. Maybe if we get access to the AMD cameras, we could find something we haven't seen. Ah, I see. We're going commando here. Is that even the term? That sounds nice. You and I can do that, and Frisk can go with their idea. Oh, he has such cute eyes. So, what was it? Love that his slippers are gray. Oh, yeah. I was, uh... My idea. I wanted to... 
Nope, not even gonna read that. Not even gonna read that. I am sorry, but I cannot stand this. What? Oh, jeez, that voice. Stop. Right. There. Oh, I love Sans' voice. Uh, so, aside from being selfish, looks like humans also have a really, really poor memory. Sans. No. no, seriously? That's the best you can come up with? A difficult situation shows up and all you can think of is to reset? I, I mean, let's say in your attempt to reset, we don't all die and you actually go back. What will happen to Asriel, or Gaster? You know what happened won't ever repeat again. I can find a way to bring them back again, somehow. If you don't get bored again that by then, that is. No! I'm not doing that! Just how you promised me you wouldn't reset? I just... That's cruel, you know. Oh, Sans, sweetie. Making me believe I finally had had a future look to look forward to. All that I'm sorry talk. Sans, please understand. I... Sans? Since you like breaking promises, you wouldn't mind if I broke mine, right? <gasps> Sans, that's enough. Oh no, I can't. I'm not ready for this. Oh no, 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 no. Oh gosh, no. You should have let Chara kill me. That would have hurt less than this. Oh my heart. Gosh darn it. Sans. Scared me, even though I, 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 that scares me every freaking time. Gosh darn it! Ugh, not again. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. Let's proceed with this heartbreaking bullcrap. Oh, Frisk, I'm sorry, hon. I'm just. I can't believe it. Things were finally- I hate moments like these where characters grow apart. Hmm? The tale of the twin siblings again? Perhaps I'll be able to finish it this time. This language is easier to understand after all I've learned these past few days. Yeah, you just happened to learn it right at- the two siblings, both powerful wizards responsible for creating the barrier, had agreed on all their shared ruling of the kingdom. However, their opinions on monster kind differed. Hmm. Bravery looks kind of like the soul of determination wanted to destroy the barrier, while bravery thought it was a good measure to keep the peace. Confident, bravery challenged her brother. If he could prove to be more powerful than she, he could destroy the barrier. Huh. Bravery's power was greater, but as battle as the battle continued, she felt an incredible strength within it, within her sibling. Huh. <laughs> His determination had no limits, leading him to victory. Right. Bravery felt humiliated. As a consequence of this, she lost her trait and with it her magic. Ooh. She exiled herself, searching for a trait greater than determination. Huh. And alas, she found it. Ooh, I got the chills like you wouldn't believe. Oh look, we actually ended up in the right place. That reminds me of like this Undertale AU called Endertale that whenever Sans is like really tired and he tries to take his short cuts, he'll end up teleporting them and they'll end up smashing into the windows and walls and stuff. What are we looking for, exactly? I have a feeling that the AMD had something to do with this whole mess. You're not far off, Azzy. 
Whatever they did, it's all recorded, and they're probably trying to hide it somewhere. How funny. This room doesn't have cameras. Hmm. Look! This folder has weird recordings from different places. Wasn't that one the... What the... To the very essence of your soul, a dangerous and forbidden spell. However, she cared not for the laws of magic. She returned once more to challenge her brother. To once more challenge her brother. Sorry, my bad. Oh my gosh! During their final confrontation, that power overcame determination. This time, instead of growing stronger, determination lost more and more power as the battle progressed. Wait a minute. The kingdom fell into ruin from the destruction of the battle. She came out victorious. But her soul could never adapt to the sudden change. Why would Frisk summon their shield in the middle of the street? There was no car! Oh my gosh! This one is from the meeting day in front of Gaster's lab. Betty? Wait. Wasn't she sleeping at his lab when the reunion was happening? Knowing her time was running short, she sacrificed her own soul to create the most powerful and destructive being imaginable. A creature whose sole purpose is to ensure that humans and monsters would never live in peace. It was all her. Azriel, we have to warn the others. What the... The pink trait. A bete noir. The soul of fear? Oh my gosh! What a twist! I wish to be the one to reveal the big surprise. Oh well, not like it matters. I already obtained all the information I needed. No, no, no. <gasps> Oh no. Oh no, her soul is cracking. Your soul is really special, Asriel. Mind if I take it? Akumu is hungry. What the? Ah! Stay away! What? Oh no. Oh, it's Chara! Asriel, move! He can't hear you. Don't worry. I'll make it quick. Oh my gosh, that is terrifying! What the freak? No, 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 no. 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. No. tears when I was able to hold in my tears when Chara disappeared I was able to hold in my tears when when that other thing happened but no I cannot hold in my tears no oh no sounds sounds no no <laughs> I'm 
sorry, guys. No more crying. No more crying. I'm not crying anymore. But seriously, what a freaking twist. Betty is evil. She's that apparition. She killed Sans. Oh, no. No. You can't just do that. Let's just get back to this. Oh my gosh, we have the same reaction. <laughs> Ow! That must- that hurt me so much. Hang in there, Sans. I'll think of something. Here, Kumu, enjoy. I'll- I'll- Azrael. There's holes in the text box. Enjoy the future for me. Oh, God, no! He was my friend! Yeah, and he was my second favorite character! Get her, get her, get her, get her! Kumu. Fuck. Fuck you guys. We have to warn the others. Yeah, come on, come on. Nice. It's alright, Kumu. We'll get him later. But since I didn't get him, I will need that hate substance, Jessica. Oh, gosh. I said I'd keep it. I think you misunderstood. Misspelled misunderstood. <gasps> Jessica! I wasn't asking. Please, Mom, give me the hate vial. Oh my gosh, you can't just do that. What's wrong, Mom? You look like you've seen a ghost. Well then. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll keep my promise. Promise? I'll turn all those monsters to dust. Hence the name of the episode. Okay, let me just do a rain check. Asgore is in jail. Undyne has to see him behind bars. Sans and Frisk fought. Papyrus is in jail. Betty is evil. Sans is dead. Jessica is freaking dead. I don't know. And... Whatever! Gaster is half dead? That's like eight things wrong and it doesn't even stop! No! <laughs> I can't. My heart's not ready. My gosh. My heart's not ready for this. Camilla, you freaking monster. Oh, I don't even have enough fabric to cling on to. I have to cling on to my bare skin. Holy shit. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry you had to hear me cry like a little bitch. But, anyways, thank you guys so much. Let me know if you want me to react to the next episode. And remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And comment, like, and subscribe to Camilla and Nyx and everyone else because they definitely deserve it. Even though they did just pretty much kill off Sans! I was so angry that the freaking full screen just stopped. <sighs> Alright. See you guys later. I'm gonna go cry some more.